In this video, I'm going to install Z and X axis. There, these are the mounts that I have from version 2. I guess they're just, there's more uh, screws to use everywhere basically. And I'm fine with it. So when installing motor mount, the holes need, need to be on the outside. So um, I'm going to do the usual and um, insert the key knot. So for that, I may need to put this thing on the side like this. Oh, yeah, I don't want to put it on the harness here. The hole needs to look on the outside. I'm adjusting the T nuts so I can then tighten everything. So yeah, I'm using uh, version 2.0 printed bits because besides like using more uh, screws, they seem to be pretty similar. Okay, so I have one uh, and coupling working on the second one hopefully and the third one yeah that looks like oh okay the second coupling it's not working. It's not even close, unfortunately. So I'm going to try to move this thing to the end of an extrusion and hope to align it like this, maybe. Yeah, okay, and now I'm using this uh, second knot and nothing is moving. And this thing looks the wrong way. Let's do this again, but now for the right side. Oh, I see what the problem is. So on, on, the, uh, on the outside here, there's two knots, that, that's the older design. Uh, and on the inside, there's only one, one uh, knot that aligns with the upper knot on the outside. The knots with the holes and, okay, I'll, I'll try to develop a strategy about this and my strategy is to tighten the knot that is on the inside that I can see and it's the most difficult to align other things. So yeah, I'm just gonna tighten it all the way, make sure that it grabs. Yeah, and it did. And now, now I'm going to back it out a little bit. Oh, I, I backed it out too much. So I guess it's either grab, let's see, okay. Now it's not too much, I grabbed it and yeah, now I can uh, tighten the other two knots. So yeah, this one grabbed and now I can try and tighten the third one, the other, this, the single one on the other side. Okay. Now I'm going to try and salvage this thing. Maybe try and slide the knots in. So let's see how difficult it's going to be to... Uh, 
and tighten the knot slightly, align them like that, and then try and slide them in like this. Now that doesn't seem to be working at all. I have to do the same thing I did for the other side, so now I'm going to unscrew everything. We'll just I can hold these and, and rotate the knots. Then I'll pop the screws. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to insert two knots here, the inside, two knots on the outside, one on the inside, like this, then align everything. So that all the holes align, so when I insert, then start with the O. Oh, I, I need to put some things in between my laptop and my frame. Okay, now that uh, the holes are aligning like so, now I need to insert the knot in the hole in the bottom hole. And uh, judging by the by the alignment of the top hole. Just see how that one aligns. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the inner one and then the same thing for the... Uh, I wanted to say the, <laughs> the outer one, the top one, and now the same thing for the inner one. Not, that's the inner one now. So yeah, now we have our uh, motor mounts here. I have a different setup, so it's going to be a little bit easier for me now. I don't need to slide everything, I, I can just decouple the motors. So I'm going to take this away. On its place I'm going to put my Franken Prusa. And I'm gonna take out the smooth rods and then I'm going to get some paper and clean them. As you can see uh, from my motor mounts, I just have simple M M5 to um, M8 couplers. So what I can do is just kind of pop them out. And the other one, if I can do that without causing any permanent damage. Okay, that's the other one. And now I need to remove the motors. So for the motors I am just going to unplug it first, one and the other. Then, oh, can I disconnect heated bed? No, I can't. So heated bed will have to go in the back. Can I disconnect the power? Yes, I can disconnect the power. This is kind of my connector that I used to couple high voltages. Just gonna disconnect it on one side. So the connectors themselves are going to go 
go here. So my power, my power brick is free. Okay, I don't need printer cable. I can turn this thing around a bit. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do is uh, remove the whole mount here. So I'll just unscrew the nuts he uh, in the back. Oh, if, if I can do that, because that brace is awfully close. So... Yeah, I think I also, uh, in order to get to that knot, I will have to remove the brace. or partially remove the brace. Yeah, this is my Franken Prusa in uh, heated chamber configuration. And I think I need, now I need to remove the knots over there. I'll, I'll put all the knots and bolts in this box over here. Or at least all the knots and bolts that I can find. So now I can take this out, unscrew the last knot. And maybe just to can slide this thing out. I, I was hoping I can do this, but apparently I can't. So uh, what I am going to do is the usual loosen uh, all of these bolts then get a drill bit and then just remove them Okay, so, okay, at least I can remove the motor. Actually, at this point, I don't even care about the rest of this thing. Maybe if I can reuse the washers, that would be fine. I'm not going to put this hardware in a box because I'm, I'm going to use it to mount this motor. I guess I'm not going to take the whole thing out. I don't know why I wanted to do that. I'm just going to pull the motor the motor. Uh, I do need to do several things. I need to disconnect uh, everything here. For that I need a pair of cutters. I think first I'm just going to... Uh, there we go. And then I need to disconnect everything over here. So, probes. Wait, where is extruder? 
extruder is over there. Okay, there's the extruder cable. Then I will need to get a tiny screwdriver and basically disconnect everything. Get the extruder. Oh no, the heater. Like this. No. Pull it out. Then we have our proximity probe, which is way too long and I I will just need to cut it and shorten it. It's this is ridiculous. Why did I then my extra fan for cooling the extruder motor? Then uh, this is G21. What is J21? So J21 is um, that's the ther thermistor, as in yeah, temperature probe, and this one is a part cooling fan. Okay, so now I also need to. No, this is bad, bad, the bed can stay, but I do need to disconnect uh, this bit, which is uh, X-axis motor. Okay, there we go. And I think, okay, X-axis is done. Oh, I guess, <laughs> I guess I never connected cooling motor for X-axis, huh? something that I will have to do. So, and this should release our everything that is, so the, the, the Z axis is now, oh, and what is this? This is just, um, looks like power for something. Uh, it's probably the fan. So, uh, I have a problem, this is the fan. And this is the um, this is the fan. This is the uh, thermistor. I don't want to mix them up. It's gonna break out my label maker. Maybe I can label it on the part that I soldered together. So extruder fan and this one is next there mister. Okay, I didn't press backspace enough times. What else do I need? So this one is pretty obviously by the con uh, pretty obvious by the connector that this is part cooling fan. This is motor cooling fan for the extruder. This is extruder. Uh, this is heater, and this is uh, proximity probe. I only need two labels here, and the rest of it is kind of obvious. Probably move the main main frame. Yeah, this is a frame that is main. The rest of the frame here because I'm going to get to it uh, a lot later. So out with the old, in with the new. And I don't think I will need the label maker anytime soon. And I can get rid of, rid of some other stuff like the screwdriver. So uh, that's our uh, installation of the mounts. Oh, and I think I tightened this way too much. Okay, so we have our mounts that are way too tight. So make sure this section clean of dust. Yeah, that seems to be fine. Will be used to reference for Z motor mounts. Okay, so don't tell me they, they just like kind of go in there. This is on the outside of the frame. Actually, let, let's try and see if 
oh, it's fine. I, I wanted to see how much trouble I'm going to have inserting Z rods. It's fine. It's it's tight, but it's not uh, terrible. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to do this and break the mounts. The mounts go all the way down and then we just tighten them. Okay, I don't understand this. Okay, so apparently I just leave this here and then slide the motor in like Okay, this is an old mount and I don't think I, I can slide the motor in. Okay, this is not as bad as I thought it's going to be. Let's go to the... Uh, version 2 tag and try to find the instructions. Let's see, access motors. So yeah, there's okay so there is no space here and this has to be 90 degrees like the usual next step and cables are going on this side actually so this is um, so yeah oh and the problem is I have bigger motor. I have slightly bigger motor. So, uh, I need to find a way of how to tighten. There is no way I can tighten this. What I can do is get some tape out and just kind of mark the position of this thing and probably do exactly the same thing here see how this whole thing fits then mark the position here so I marked the positions of each motor and now I'm gonna take them out, maybe, if I can. Ah, this is not, no. Just measure how much, uh, looks like 12 millimeters, how much space I have. Okay, and that reads six millimeters. I think I know what's wrong. I think old Prusa design had pancake motors, which I do have a few spares. So let's see if If I use pancake motors, things are going to get better. So, uh, I can save myself a lot of trouble, and I mean a lot of trouble, if I just uh, tighten this. Let, let, let's see if this tightened and I want to get a pancake motor in. Can I do this? So it's like this, then I slide it in and it's fine. So uh, I think I either can uh, reprint the uh, new uh, mounts or just use spare pancake motors that I happen to have. I think I'm gonna go with the spare pancake motors and now I will have two proper size motors for whatever project. Oh, look at that. I already th This has been broken for a while, but it doesn't seem to deter the motor from working, so it's not an issue. 
let me find the Allen key and I'm gonna tighten this. I think maybe this is the last thing I'm going to do today on this project. If I can find the So that's fixed. Oh. oh, I don't need to move. So I'll do the same thing for this side. Just keep everything at 90 degrees and just press on things while I'm assembling things. Tightening a pattern, all that. find the, the last screw that the screw in there somewhere that I can tighten that would be great ah, okay that seemed to be tight that seems to be tight as well Okay, I think we're we might be okay here. So now let's try and mount the motors. Yeah, and then they just kind of snap right in. the bolts from the previous build. Let's see if they align properly. I'm not gonna tighten it anymore. It seems to be fine. Don't want to over tighten it and break the print. So let, now let's do the other side.
Okay, I'm gonna go back to the right motor. See if I can, yeah, that seems to be plenty tight. Okay, so now I can uh, find my small driver bit, smaller, smaller screwdriver bit. Yeah, that, that, that's the right one. So before I'm gonna mount the T8 rods, I'm just gonna mount smooth rods. I think I'm, I may need to just put them however close I can and then leave them alone for now. That's going to be kind of a job for later. And now I can just turn the motors on this side that is not round. Get Get the insert the rod. First, tighten it on not round side. Then tighten it on the round side. Then uh, do the same thing on the other side of the. Wait, what's going on here? Tell me this is going to be uh, doesn't seem to want to go. I'm just going to loosen the screws again a bit. Yeah, that 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 seems to be not willing to work as well, but it's fine. Just going to think I will have some kind of difference in height here, which should not affect anything really, if you think about it. I think what I can do, if, if nothing else works, I can just insert the um, if I can't insert properly the um, smooth rod, I'm going to insert it in in the um, power drill and just kind of spin around so it will heat up the mount and insert itself. Actually, I don't didn't even need to do that. It just happened right now as I was talking about this. I think it's held up. It's being held up well enough for me to um, try and get X axis and extruder and that whole assembly here. I'm going to take my dental tool and I'm going to take my grease and I'm going to re-grease the bearings so that This uh, th this whole thing is super old design with like maker bot, bot style uh, end stops. So uh, I'm just not gonna mess with it for now. I'm just gonna put the grease on each bearing race and. Leave it at that. For now. Now I'm gonna do this side. Actually, I don't even need to put... I put way more grease when I did the first time. It's not required. Just spread some 
on the bearing balls. Okay, now I'm going to swap this on the other side and do the same here, hopefully without damaging the wiring. Okay, and now let's try and basically do what an instruction tell us. So we did this step, there's different cable length, and the previous months we used 12 millimeter screws, but somehow everything seems to be not working. Uh, also the instructions said that they used washers, uh, I'm just going to keep the washers just in case. So, um, yeah, I have this part already assembled. I'm not going to redo everything. Although I do like how the pair upgrade uh, back mount looks. Maybe I should uh, I think after this thing is working, I will consider whether I should... Um, change the extruder to be their upgrade. can get this thing lowered. Okay. Yeah, see how this thing is not even and there's more effort needed on the right side. So this one needs more effort, but only slightly more. So this might not be a huge problem. Yeah, I think it only, yeah, now it needs more effort. Yeah, I will have to redo this at some point. We're doing extruder right now, so let's, um, at the tops and of course the tops were also redesigned but let, let's see how badly it meets this oh oh man so this is it's going to be like this okay there needs a lot of pressure. <clears throat> okay now this is this is way too late for now for my neighbors to endure this. I'm gonna leave the part of hammering in tops here this top because that doesn't seem to be fit as well as as the other side. I'm going to finish this in a next build session.